Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's a man. You know I'm the baby. <laughs> and yeah. No. <laughs> you say you work with a lot of artists, whatever. Like, so when I think about Florida, right? When I was younger, Trina was like, "I'm the baddest devil." Like, she was the one that made me like, "Nigga, I need to go to Florida." Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now, I was told you, you and Trina had some works, right? We have a song together. I'm pretty sure you spoke about it, but you you speaking to Louisiana right now? Okay, Louisiana. So, yes, I have a song so out. So tell us about that, cause Trina like. Like she did a song with Webby, of mm-hmm. course, and to this day, Trina, Trina is like the that one no, for us. No, absolutely. And she I would always be that one. Love for us. like Trina raised me. Trina raised me. She's the reason. Yes. <laughs> she is the reason. Represent for what bitches. All eyes here, bitches. No time for the. All right, let me stop. But um, <laughs> no, I do have a record with Trina, and um, that was just amazing to me because. She was one of my main um, inspirations to becoming a rapper. Mm-hmm. Like when I thought about being a rapper, I was like, oh, like I want to be like a Trina, you know? Like where's like the Trina? I like tr- that was who I grew up listening to. Trina, Jackie O. Yeah, I forgot about Jackie O. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that vibe. But I loved Trina, so to have a song with her, that's just, it's just like, oh my god. Uh, like it's amazing. I love it. I love her. She was sweet. She was nice. She was so kind. And our song is fire. Same nigga. Okay. Yeah. Available on all streaming platforms. Go check it out. We got a music video. It's on YouTube. It's a lit ass song. Go check it out. Mm, straight up, no. Cause I went, I went to Miami. I went to Miami last year. And like, I went down to the beach and I seen all the cars and I seen all the women. I don't know if everybody in Miami living like that. I'm about <laughs> Lambos and McLarens, and I'm like, bro, I know I know people getting money. I know people getting, money. Mm-hmm. but y'all get money like that in Miami, like for real, <laughs> son. Like you well, come down the street and it's like a line of of exotic cars. Okay, so you got to think about it. It's okay. And don't quote me on these. It's not exact numbers, well, but let's some, just say if know. there's 10,000 people um, in Miami. Yeah. There's one, there's like 500 people that's on South Beach. Yes. That got money. So it might look like it's everybody, but really it's only those 500 people out of the 10, the rest of the, the 9,500 is Po. <laughs> you yeah. just looking at them 500 people and like, oh, everybody got it. No, the 500 people got it. The rest of them is Po. Oh, that's how it go. You get what I'm saying? But you're just seeing what you're seeing, so it looks like, oh my gosh, everybody. No, you're just, you were in that one area to see all of, you know what I'm saying? Did you ride through Poke and Beans? You don't even know what that is. You understand that? If you was to drive through, the, you'd be like, oh, okay, because everybody don't got it. No, they don't have it. They, oh. Mm. <laughs> you just in the rich area. So when you're in the rich area, you're going to see rich people. Damn, damn. But it's not everybody, for sure. Mm. Well, I'm going to tell you this, though. Well, when I got on your campaign, because me and Swag, he always try to put me ahead of the game. Like, look, this is this the lady you need to talk to when you get to Houston, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. You bought, you bought, regardless of you being online and being transparent about it, hey, this nigga, whatever, it's like you, you steady. It's like you going up. Mm-hmm. Like, like you know, you just just going up. So one thing I had seen, it was like one a simple a simple caption. You was like elevation is key. Absolutely. Um. Now you got you got other captions. You talking about niggas and you rapping and stuff. <laughs> but tell me about that, cause it was like less is more when I seen it. Mhm. Like tell us about that, like cause I know you went through a lot to even get where you at now. Um. I mean, it, it's it's a mindset, and the elevation is key. Like. In life, Mm -hmm. I feel like our purpose in life is to grow. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? If you're alive, you got breath in, you know what I'm saying? You got to keep going. You got to keep growing. When you're staying at the same level, it's like, um, you know, when you have, like, your heart rate, when you're on a monitor in the hospital, Mm -hmm. and it's going up and down, 
You know what I'm saying? When it's going like this, what that mean? Your flat line is over with. You dead. It's over with. You get what I'm saying? So you got to go up and down. That's life. You up, you, you know what I'm saying? You got to be moving. You got to be doing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would never want to stay. And that's why I like to move. That's why I like to go places and do shit. Because I'm like, I don't ever want to be just flat line. Mm. So always got to go at least, even if I go down, I'd rather go down and up and down than to just do nothing. Mm. I'd rather fall off. Bitch. At least I learned something. At least I I have an experience. Like, okay, it might have been bad, but at least now I know what not to do. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But I could still draw from it. I could still learn from it. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm just not, not doing nothing. I don't want to be that bitch ever that's just not doing nothing. That's I gotta do something. You, she, she media training you coach her on this, or just how she do it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just talking. 